been a secretary for over 20 years. During that time, I've answered the same questions so many times that I have a script in my brain that I verbally rattle off with very little variation. In a way, this is good because you don't need to exert your brain so much and you can focus your energies on more important things like online solitaire. However, the downside of this is you forget how to improvise. As soon as I have to go off script, I verbally stumble and stutter to the point where I literally forget how to speak at all. This puts me in the awkward position where I say one thing, but hours later I think of something else that I could have said, sometimes something bordering on brilliant. For example, I once had a caller ask me, Do your nurses do lap dances there? And I said, No. But what I should have said was, Hell no. Another example, my boss once asked me, or rather ordered me, Midland, while you're out, get me a sandwich from the shop on the corner. Don't worry about getting me a drink, I bring my own. And I said, Okay. But what I should have said was, You've got two hands and two feet, Doc Boss. You can use your two feet to walk to the shop and use your two hands to make your own damn sandwich. Stop infringing on my lunch break, you pill-binging quack. One other example is when a mother called about her young son, who was maybe four or five years old at the time. My son bumped his head while playing in the backyard, and since then he's been acting out, being aggressive, tearing through the house like a maniac, and slapping our pet dogs around. Do you think he might have brain damage? And I said, I'm not qualified to say, but if you like, I can book an appointment for your son to see the doctor. In hindsight, what I should have said was, all four- and five-year-old kids act like they have brain damage because they don't know much of anything and nobody bothers to teach them anymore. If he's acting like an aggressive maniac now, it's because he is one. If you're lucky, he'll channel that destructive energy into becoming a pro football player, a corrupt cop, or a drug dealer. Any one of those things will make him rich. As for abusing the dogs, tell him to knock it off or I'll call John Wick up and he can deal with your son's psychopath ass. So yeah, hindsight is twenty twenty. So many poignant or honest things I could have said, but will never get a chance to say. All because I forgot how to ad-lib. Ah well, less chance for me to get in trouble, I suppose.